So I'm Helen Drake and we're at Delisle College in Loughborough. We're here to run what's called a simulation game and we're with Year 12 students and they're going to be playing roles of real life people who are carrying out Brexit negotiations. Uh, my name is Gavin King and I'm the Head of Economics at Delisle College in Loughborough. Today our students are looking at a real life simulation of a Brexit negotiation and they're taking on roles of key people within the negotiation to try and come to some agreement about how we should deal with the migrants living in the UK and those British nationals living in the EU. Uh, my name is Sebastian Spooner and I currently study economics, English literature, literature and language, psychology and theology. My character is David Davis and I'm the chief negotiator for the UK in Brexit negotiations. Uh, I'm trying to achieve a hard Brexit and keep the interest of the UK people at heart because um, as they voted to leave we need to be able to get a good, strong and stable uh, outcome of the negotiations. So my name is Ingrid Guest, I go to Delisle College and I'm studying psychology, biology, economics and geography. So my character is Jeremy Corbyn, leader of the Labour Party. As leader of the Labour Party we are looking to, to end free movement but still remain with a good uh, ruling for immigration laws for people coming into the UK um, and also for the remaining rights for the UK citizens who are already living in the EU. Uh, my name's Johnny Wellington and I'm studying Maths, History, Sociology and Economics at Edinburgh. My name's uh, James Bentley and I'm studying Maths, Economics, Chemistry and Biology at Edinburgh. I was a moderator for the debate, I was on the British side so we had like negotiated beforehand and then moderated the big debate. I played Didier Zeus, who I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway, who was the moderator on behalf of the European Council, so our roles are basically to just maintain order within the negotiations and hand out warnings and also make sure people stay on topic. Right, so the agreement we came to was that all rights of the UK, all rights of UK citizens living in the EU, and the rights of EU citizens living in the UK will remain if they immigrated before the 23rd of December 2017. After this date, a managed migration system will be enforced by both sides. In addition, after this date, EU countries will be given the option to enforce a 10% tax on pensioners immigrating to the EU. The students are gaining um, an understanding of what uh, an EU negotiation is going to look like and how complicated it can be with these number of parties. It's eye-opening. Insightful. So I think today I've definitely learned that it's easier to make negotiations rather than demands when it comes to trying to come to a consensus as a group and as well learning that uh, when it comes to negotiating you really have got to like take on everything that everyone else is saying as well as inputting your own stuff but equally don't sway too far from like, what you believe in and your morals. Uh, I've learned that, um, that the Brexit negotiations are very, very com complicated. There's a lot of different components that go into it, um, a lot of different viewpoints. And to get an outcome, it's going to take a lot of time. Um, I believe I gained a lot of confidence in speaking in front of people and I also have gained a greater understanding of the structure of European politics and the way they work and the negotiations. And I also learned how difficult people can be when trying to get what they want. <laughs> um, pretty much the same. It's been getting quite good moderating skills like learning how debates work and how to keep people on track and it's actually quite difficult to do um, and yeah I've learned quite a lot about how the EU works which I didn't really know before. I do intend on going to university and I did originally have my mind completely set on doing an economics degree but now uh, European studies or international relations is definitely an option because I did really enjoy that. I definitely want to study something to do with uh, human geography and uh, maybe international relations because I want to go into something to do with like handling managements abroad in an international level. Uh, before today I wanted to do um, politics, philosophy and economics at university but after today I feel that's definitely the right choice. I've really enjoyed today and I think that's definitely what, what, what I want to do at university.